everyone this is margaret from eat good tv today we are making carrot cake let's begin first we are gonna whisk our eggs and we are gonna add all the wet ingredients together hope everyone is doing okay then we are gonna add one cup of oil and two tablespoons of vanilla. Now we are gonna add the flour. We need three cups of flour. So we're gonna have one, two, three cups of flour sieve. So we're gonna sift the flour, three cups. And why, why we sieve it? Because we want it light and airy. Cause you want a moist carrot cake. And see all those stuff inside of it? We don't need that. We're gonna sieve one tablespoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of allspice, half teaspoon of cinnamon and half teaspoon of salt so we just run that through the sieve two teaspoon baking soda and two teaspoon baking powder Combine all the dry ingredients together. Just mix all the dry ingredients together. The flour, the nutmeg, the salt, the baking powder, the baking soda. Just combine everything together. Gradually fold the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So you add it, then you fold it. Just to prevent it from lumping, you just fold it in. Small amount at a time. Just small amount at a time. And just fold. Just cut and fold, cut and fold, cut and fold. Cut and fold. And this help give the cake, make the cake moist. A lot of air in the cake and make the cake moist. It might seem hard, but it's very easy. Just cut and fold, cut and fold, small amount, and you just do it gradually, combining everything together. Clean up the edges of the bowl. the carrot or use a food processor to chop up the carrot so we are going to add the carrot to the mixture and it's smelling up the place it's smelling so good the vanilla the nutmeg and everything in it smells very very good and I add a half of cup of sugar if you want to more add more sugar you can add a cup of sugar to yours but I add a half a cup of sugar And it's quite sweet because carrot is sweet. So I'm going to add the carrot to the mixture. And this is three cups of grated carrot. I'm 
and just mix it in. And you can add chopped pecans in it, but I'm gonna add grind pecans. I grind it up, I, I grind it fine. Or you can add a cup of chopped pecans or almond, any nut you like. Any nut of your chop. This is chopped pecans and I chop it finely. And if the mixture is not light enough, you can always add some carrot juice. If your mixture is not light enough, you can always add some carrot juice. And you're gonna preheat your oven at 350 degrees. And bake for 45 minutes to an hour. This is how the mixture should look. It's not runny, it's just right the pan and add a wax paper to the pan then you're gonna flour the pan and flour all around the sides then you're gonna you're gonna remove the excess flour just knock out the excess flour then you're gonna pour your mixture into the pan And this is a 10 inch pan. Ten inch, 10 inch round cake pan. And you just give it a tap to make sure it's level. Place the cake on a wire rack to cool. If you place the cake on the cake board and it's not level, just like this, it's not level. If you place it on the board and it's not level, just cut the top of the cake off. It's not level. You still have a space between the cake and the board. So you're going to, you're going to level the cake before you put it on the board. So we're going to level the cake before you place the cake on the board. And this is how you level the cake. You just cut the top off. And then we're going to place it on the board. Just remove the top. Make sure it's level. And just clean your ear as you go. Just clean, clean as you go. So when you're finished, you don't have a lot of cleaning up to do. Just clean as you go. Cut the cake in two. So you can fill it with some of the cream cheese. So you just cut the cake in two. The top.
in the bowl here we have one pound of confectioner's sugar one pound of cream cheese and one pound of butter two tablespoon of vanilla add some of the cream cheese ice into the board so that the cake won't move it's like a glue to the board so the cake won't move it stay in place through the decoration process it will stay right in place on your cake board fill your cake Add your top layer to the cake. Cover your cake. use this spatula right on it to just cover it cover it with this spatula decorate it with some nuts with some pecans you can use pecans after you cover it use some pecans or walnut to, to cover it any nut of your choice just use it to cover it, the sides. Place some pecans on the side of the cake for decoration. I'm just going to place some pecans to the side. Whatever fall off is okay. You just pick them up and place them to the side. For our royal icing, we're going to use meringue powder instead of egg white to make the leaf and the carrots now that the side is finished we are going to make some royal ice carrots and leaf to put on the top of it I just mix this together to get, I mix a little leaf green with a little forest green to get this color, to get this green color. So you need like a leaf, you need the leaf, you need the leaf green. There you have it family, your carrot pecan cake. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all my upcoming videos. Love you, wish you all the best. Bye.